Tell me about the bridge. Why is the bridge so important on a guitar? Well, it, it transfers all the energy from the strings to the top. So it matters what the bridge is made out of, right? Yes, and generally bridges are ebony or rosewood. They have to be pretty hard. So a cheap one might be plastic or something like that, right? Yeah, a lot of uh, there were instruments, you know, that w that had plastic bridges and they were bad ideas <laughs> and they ended up you know, there were a few years where Gibson made plastic bridges. Huh. And I don't work. know what they were thinking, but those were bad <laughs> ideas. Because <laughs> uh, it could snap off, right? The sure, sure. Strings could just they, pop off. They break and crack and plastic yeah. dries out and yeah. becomes brittle. How about the nut here at the top? Why is the nut important? Well, that's what your strings ride on. And that... It has a lot to do with tone too. The nut and the saddle work together and I make mine out of bone. What kind of bone? Ox, those are uh, ox bone there. Hmm. But cow bone, uh, I have some buffalo bone. A lot of vintage guitars used to use ivory. Mm -hmm. I've heard that a lot. Bone's a little better I think. Is it stronger? Yes. Okay. It's a little denser. It transfers the tone a little better. A lot of the production factory guitars are made with plastic nuts and saddles, which aren't great for tone. I can improve the tone by taking those plastic nuts and saddles out and, and replacing them with bone. Hmm. Okay. Didn't know they made that big of a difference. Yeah. They transfer the tone much better. Okay. They, they, they make quite a bit of difference. How about the tuning keys? How important are they? Well, they're they're pretty important too. They keep your guitar in tune. <laughs> but I mean, does it matter what they're made out of? Well, the the gears, the buttons aren't, you know, the buttons are strictly cosmetic. But the gears, you know, the the gears and the cogs okay. and the bushings and the tuners, which are these, those are important. You know, when, they're, when they have nylon bushings and, and brass cogs, that's, and how they're engineered, the, the play, the tolerances between the two gears together make a huge difference in how the tuner works. And how well it stays in tune. Right, exactly. Okay. And it's, it's just like anything on the instrument, there's a... Uh, you know, a huge variety of tuners that there's economy, what they call economy tuners that are made cheaply and they have a lot of slop in the gears and the gears mm. are softer, they're a softer alloy so the the cogs wear out faster, they don't stay in tune, the shafts are sloppier. The better tuners, the more you spend, you get a better tuner, those are go-to tuners which have no slop in the shaft at all. And the rate gear ratio, those are 21 to 1, so a little turn hmm. makes a huge difference in the tuning. You can turn that tuner just a hair and it'll change the pitch of the string. So the more fine-tuned it is in that sense, the better it is, better yes. quality. Yes. Okay. We've talked about just about every part of the guitar. <laughs> Anything we haven't talked about? We, I think we talked about the neck. The neck has to be good because it, it can't be warped, right? Yep. Uh, we talked about the frets, and the frets have to be parallel, right? Yeah, and perfectly level. Yeah. And polished and crowned. And the strings have to be parallel all the way across, right? Yeah, that's the action. Yeah. So basically that's... Basically the art, what we haven't talked about is maybe the, the inlay and the artwork. Mm -hmm. Meaning inlay is what? Inlay is the vine that I've inlaid on the headstock. Okay. Which is abalone and mother of pearl. Okay, so all this design here? Yeah. Okay. And you can, you can keep it simple or you can get really fancy. You know, there's... That's a, that's a trade in itself. Sure. It's, it's almost like a 
a Picasso painter. There's inlay artists that just do inlay on guitars, and that's all they do. Larry Robinson's a famous one hmm. in the Bay Area, in Napa, and he he inlaid the Millionth Martin. Hmm. Okay. And he is a he is an amazing artist. He cuts every piece of pearl by hand with a jeweler saw. And a lot of inlays these days are made with a CNC machine at the factories. They're cut with a computer numerical controller. Okay. It's a software program that goes in the machine and a cutter head cuts it according to that software program. Okay. So, but Larry... Using AutoCAD or one of those? Right. Yeah. Yeah, but Larry does everything by hand. Okay. He will draw the drawing or you can give him a drawing, you can give him a painting and he'll take shell, piles of shell, and he'll cut every piece of shell and make that painting and then lay it in the guitar which takes him hours and hours of tedious work. I bet. So what do you consider the most valuable part of the guitar? Something that you know, it has to be good to hold the value. Well, is it the inlay? No, not really. That's pretty cosmetic. Is the sound of the guitar more important than the look of the guitar in terms of preserving the value? Yes. Okay. If you talk to any player, his tone is the foremost. Tone and playability are the two main, most important things on an instrument. Okay. As you can see, Willie Nelson, he's got a hole in his guitar, but the tone of that guitar, and it's kept playable by whoever works on his guitars. There's not a whole lot of cosmetic stuff going on with Willie's guitar <laughs> with a big hole in it, but right. it still sounds great. So if a guitar is all beat up and scratched up, it doesn't necessarily mean it's lost its value, right? No, yeah. As it's, long as it sounds good? Yeah. Well, there are certain collectible guitars too. Some are collectible and some aren't. Mm -hmm. You know, the older Martins are collectible, older Gibsons are collectible. You know, there's... Any handcrafted guitar? Yeah, most most old handcrafted guitars have have a decent value, depending on the maker. There's so when Mark Dobbins becomes world famous, your guitars will be skyrocket in value. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that happens before I die. <laughs> I don't want to be one of them guys that die and then all of a sudden yeah. their stuff is worth a lot of money. <laughs> in my book, that's too late. <laughs> Great. Great talking with you, Mark Dobbins.